I mean, that's just, you got four guys that have scored a 1,000 career points. Head coach of the Raging Cajuns is Bob Marlin in his fourth year, 61-60 and 60 there. He has won 286 career games. Our uh, tip-off tonight brought to you by Window World. Let's play ball. Tap goes back, and Peyton will get it. Daniel Sheath, four and out, although they'll go against the zone. But sooner or later, you're going to have four guards out on the floor, and then they're going to have their big man laying down inside. And that's where they want to go, isn't it? They want to get it inside the long and get something rolling there. Inside out. Three-pointer, top of the circle. Brian Bamalou. Bamalou. And he's rolling, coach. They're a different team. And he's been rolling lately. His three-point shooting has come around, and he's just doing a heck of a job. Hunter couldn't hang on. This Georgia State team coach is just not a great first-half team, but they are one of the best second-half teams. Well, you know, the other thing is they don't turn the ball over very often. Yeah. They lead the country in the least number of turnovers, and they just turned it over. Yep. Didn't go inside the long there. They had the opportunity. They're going to try and keep Peyton from penetrating. And we'll talk about this as the night goes on. Eldridge Moore has moved into the starting lineup. Bamalu trying for another tray, and he got it. Two for two. Yep, and when he's rolling, again, I'll say this, they're a different ball club. You know, you're talking about long, too. He dominated the inside game. In Lafayette, it'll be interesting to see. Uh oh, we got a steal here. Number 11 in the NCAA in steals. And it's a foul on Alfred Payton. Payton called for the personal foul there. I don't know. I didn't see it. I no, thought it I was a steal. We were blocked off. Yeah, Not absolutely. much we could see. Nope. Devonta White finds Ryan Harrow. Harrow, the transfer from Kentucky. And Peyton with the block. Peyton, coach, pretty good defensive player, oh, especially he's... on the ball, and he helps very well. He helps well, and then, of course, so many steals. He leads his team in steals as well. 11th Those... in the country, yep. Long arms. A lot of ball screens here on this offense. And they want to get that young man, R.J., the, uh, the jump shot. Shot clock at four at three. Atkins, fill it up, but misses there. Many ways, Tom, this is a bigger game for the Raging Cages than oh, yeah. it is for Georgia State. That three is a little bit too strong. Fight for the rebound that will go out of bounds. And belong to the Raging Cajuns. And let's talk about that. Georgia State is two away from at least clinching a tie, from clinching a tie for the conference championship. But for the Raging Cajuns, they're looking at second place, and they've got some competition. Long for three. How about this show from long range early by the University of Louisiana at Lafayette? It is 9 nothing. They're three of four from long range. Now the Panthers play that zone, the matchup, and if the if you're on, the offense is on, creates problems. They love that ball screen. They play an NBA style offense. Up and under for Washington, who had a torn labor. He started at USC, had a torn labor, only played a couple ball games there. Set out two years ago, had a red shirt last year as a transfer, so he's finally just back playing now. And coach, when you sit out basically two years, you really lose a lot, especially a big man who can take a little bit longer to get rolling during the season. Well, you know what? I don't know whether I totally agree with you on a big man. I'm not sure if you were a guard and had to make all the kinds of decisions you have to make. It wouldn't be a, just as difficult a transition. But I agree with you. Two years out is really difficult on a player. First point for the Panthers. Bamalu for three. Back of the rim, Moore right there with the follow came up short. And here they come on the run. 
Atkins looked to pass, and Moore really did a great job defending that. He wanted to pass it off. Moore read it. Now Payton to the bucket. Oh, my. What a finish for Alfred Payton. He loves to go with the ball, and he's so explosive. Harrell gets it inside. Washington spin move, and the jump hook is good. He's got a nice start for the ball game. Now that's a big key. If he can score down in there and put pressure on Long, that is a big key for the Panthers. Ball was out of bounds. It'll belong to the Raging Cajuns. You and I talked today watching shoot around. And one of the things you and I both said is that if they can get Peyton to the basket, it's going to take some other guys scoring early, and they've had that so far. Bamalu with a couple trays and Long with a three. Yeah, they haven't gone inside as much early as I anticipated them looking for Long. He had a huge ball game last time, and there he is with it. Up, good in the foul. And, Coach, how difficult of a time do the Panthers have in guarding Sean Long. Well, I think they have, as you could see, the defense is spread out a little bit. He takes his time to make sure there's room and then uses that jump hook. The Panthers don't have anybody that can guard Long one-on-one -on -one down in there. So the Panthers are going to have to make a decision. Do we come out and pressure the perimeter shot, or do we cave down in and take the inside game away from him? If he can score down in there all night long, Tom, Boy, oh boy, that really bodes well for the Cajuns. Curtis Washington comes out. Danny Bergillos will check in. He started the last ball game. Nice drive by White, and the underhanded shot goes in. Explosive drives. He's really sacrificed his offensive game to fit in with his team. Bamalu had a decent look at a three. Now Long will take that three. Oh, my. 17-5. we got to replay the last time we were here when Texas Arlington just buried those threes in the first half. Took the words right out of my mouth. Now it'll be interesting to see whether the Panthers come out and stretch the defense or they stay in and say, okay, keep shooting. Eventually you got to come out, don't you? Eventually, but I don't think early. Harold got pushed and that bucket's good. This could be the second on Alfred Payton. Basket's good, and it is the second foul on Alfred Payton right there with the basketball. We got an assist on that. Him. Kevin Brown, a junior from Houston, has checked in. Along with Xavier Rimmer, and here's Bamalu. Rimmer plays the point. Now it's always been limited because Peyton's out there, but he's going to have to run the offense, but it clearly affects him. Rimmer drives in and an offensive foul call. The basket does not count. It went in, but will not count. Excellent drive to the basket. The defense got over there. Brigalos just really did a good job of sliding over there and took the charge. Got to pull up short if you're going to try and take that shot. Steve Ronkowski checks into the ball game. It's another shooter. Yep, sophomore from Hammond, Louisiana. He only shot 16% from the three-point line in Lafayette. Now I'm talking about the Cajuns. And here he is defensively on Hunter. Hunter around that screen came up a little short. And this is a very different situation for the Raging Cajuns, Coach. They have not played without Alfred Payton on the floor much at all this year. No, Bamalu's got to give them a lot of direction right here if they're going to get through this period. Because I'll be surprised if we see him, uh, Payton, the rest of this half. Long wants it down low and is visibly upset that he didn't get it the last couple passes. Inside, Ronkowski goes up short. Long tapped it, no, tapped it again. Third opportunity won't go. It's still loose, and here they come on the run. R.J. Hunter with the basketball. Harrell, wide open three. Really good offense, good ball movement. 
but the defense just lost Harrow. You can't lose him in that situation. Georgia State on a 6 nothing run. They're missing Long down inside. But I think they'll get it corrected because Long, Long is expressing his emotions. Oh, yeah. He is not happy that he hadn't been getting the ball. Good for him. Nice head and ball fake. Bamalou, baseline pass to Rimmer. Really nice pass and a good move to use the net as an extra screener. Went to the other side and laid it in. Rimmer back cut when Bamalou penetrated. And that's what created the whole thing. And you're right. It was an excellent pass. Brajan Cajuns come off a 78-63 win over Troy. They've won six in a row. As Hunter drives in, lays it up, and missed that. Now White from 17 and Long right there. And Long looks right now to me like a guy that wants to take over. Holy. He wants the ball, and I think you're going to see him really get after it. I don't know if that was a pass, but it went in. I agree with you. I think Long is dominating this basketball game for the Cajuns right now. Board play, shooting, post, assertiveness. He's doing a heck of a job. Carroll with it. Kicks it back to White, and there's an offensive foul. See, when Bamalu was out, they missed those kinds of plays. Great defensive play as he slides over and takes the charge. Easy call to make, but a very good defensive play. Hunter comes out as Washington goes back in. You know, RJ was slow in the first half in Lafayette, and then he got going for that great second half. Feed and here they come again. Harrow can break it down and can score. Really likes going to his right down, much better than to his left. Baseline jumper on the wall and Long pulls that down. Guess who? Yep. I really think Long is going to turn it on, given the opportunity. He's, he's got clearly five rebounds the, already. He's clearly the dominating force right now. On the floor yes. for either team. Yeah. Yes. Long three that came up short. Fight for the rebound and a foul called against the Panthers. And we've got a timeout on the floor. Carroll found himself wide open and drops that one home. 21 to 11. I ever coached against a team that that had uh, that kind of score. Might have two, yes. but four yes, is just four is just unbelievable. And that's why I say Devontae White has really sacrificed a lot of his score. Yeah, he has. Yep. To, to fit in. To to be what this team needs, they stay in that three-two zone. Now, they'll adjust it a lot, Tom. That, that screen to pull up short. And just couldn't quite get that, but they got another offensive opportunity. Bamalu starts to drive and now picks up his dribble. Inside. Oh, you could see he was ready to go. Yeah, he didn't need the dribble. No, nope. Long was ready to go. Now R.J. Hunter for three. That stops an 0 for 5. Georgia State runs. They are good in transition, and if they can find him that open, he may set an arena record. They like that screen on the ball. Cajuns there at the top of the key. Long right there, offensive rebound, and he'll go to the line. Washington will pick up the personal foul. Now, is that his second? If that's, yeah, here we go. Wide open. And slow rotating over. The defense is slow rotating over. Bamalu was slow, and I'm not sure it was his responsibility, but he had no choice but to rotate out there. Long is approaching a double-double. 
You got nine points and six rebounds right now. You just get the feeling about a kid, don't you? I mean, you can see his numbers. He averages a double double. Well, you know, in Lafayette, the Cajuns scored 46 points in the paint. That's why I said, you know, the Panthers yeah. have got to eliminate that or uh, uh, cut that way down. J.J. Davenport out of Abbeville High School in Louisiana. Abbeville, Louisiana comes in. He's a 6'6", 325-pound junior. Foul called against the Raging Cajuns. Bomalu picks up that personal foul. Coach Marlin is upset because he thought that a little bit of a, you know, back and forth yeah. between the two. He wanted something done on Hunter. January 30th, Long did not play. And Davenport had a double-double in 27 minutes, 14 points and 11 rebounds. I like Davenport. Yeah, you did when we saw him earlier. Yep. He can shoot the ball. He boards. Drive inside and loose ball on the floor. Jump ball. Alternate possession will stay with Georgia State as Harrell will come back. The Panthers continue to use that ball screen both on top and on the wing to free those shooters, penetrate the ball, and then if you help, they look to pitch to that baseline and create offense there. And with 4,000-point scores, you got guys that can shoot it. I mean, really shoot it. So when you pitch it, you're pitching it to a guy that can fill it up. T.J. Shipes, a 6'7 sophomore who's got terrific basketball lineage comes in as White hits that from the top of the circle. Excellent offense. Four for him now, and six-point game. Brown foul. I thought he might have been a walk, but the official says foul happened first. And Davenport was back-cutting on a play, and that's... That's who he was going to. Hey, Bamalu. Peyton's back in. Yeah, I saw with that. With two fouls. He's yeah, come back in. I saw that. I'm really surprised. And it clearly changes the dynamics of the game. Because he's going to have to guard a score regardless of who he, he guards. Well, unless you go to his own, right? Davenport inside. Nope. Blocking foul. And he'll go to the line. See, that's what I mean. He can score around the basket. He's got a 15-point jump or 15-foot jump shot. You slide your big man out on the floor, and he makes a feed, and here comes this big, powerful man to lay the ball around the basket. And he Atkins picks up his first. Hit. Davenport's a 72% free throw shooter, 34 now of 48. Raging Cajuns, two of four from the line. And two of five. They have trouble shooting the free throws at times, Tom. Yeah, they're just a 68% free throw shooter. Yeah, how about this? Georgia State in conference play, a sizzling, and I mean sizzling, 81%. And a foul on Bomalu. Bamalu has picked up his second personal, and you can't leave both guys in there, can you, Coach? No, you've got to make some substitutions, and, and Coach Marlin wants to play aggressively and assertively, and he has to. Eldridge Moore will come back. Davenport, is Bamalu staying on? Yeah, Bamalu's staying Bamalu's on. Bamalu's staying on. Well, maybe not. Here comes Kevin Brown for him. And I think that's a big loss, too, because I think Bamalu has been the X factor on this raging Cajun team. Well, you and I have talked about it. During this six-game win streak, Hunter can't get that. He has really played well. And as he gets more minutes, he's just going to keep playing better. And you take another three-point shooter off the floor who's been shooting the ball very well. Yeah, he's had a heck of a start. Long wants it. I mean, really wants it and has it. They double-team him. Spin move. Rimmer kicks it out, and Harrell tapped it out of bounds. Harrell did a great job. He didn't He didn't drop in. He stayed out on the perimeter shooter out on the floor, who was Brown. Really good defense. Long likes that three. <laughs> he is really feeling it. And see, that's a man-to-man -man coverage out of that because they, they rotate 
They rotate the defensive man who's in the post. Right now, it's Atkins out on him. You talk about a shooter now. Atkins is one heck of a shooter. Hunter with it. Spins. Long came over to help, and that was not even close. Lost out of bounds. Will belong to the Raging Cajuns, and we got a timeout. 7.48 left, 25-16. In a ball game we thought was going to be really good, it is. Still night for me, and uh, really one of those pleasures that you don't often get on the road. What a great night. You know, it's a shame your wife wasn't there. So yeah, she'd have really had a, a yeah, enjoy. yeah. That was, uh, that was a great night. And he probably had to pay for dinner. He did, in fact. You have and a good I, point. I figured that. I figured, I knew that was coming. <laughs> And I'll hear about that later. You think you're going to, yeah. Now, you got to talk to Peyton, and you got to tell him, don't pick up that third foul. Yeah, he just he can't be aggressive on no. defense. And against this team, that's tough assignment. Long with the down low. Nice dish. Brown, oh, good defense had it knocked away. Really good cut. And you're right, very good defense. Kreider's checked into the ball game. Marcus Kreider, as Harrell saw, lane and went right down it and lays it in. If you give Harrell the baseline, you you better have a lot of help on that other side because he is so quick. He exploded. He's got eight. Here comes Peyton. Nice dish. Oh, he drew the defense and then drops it off. It was a little head fake. Two really good plays by perimeter players there. How about Long with 15 big boys? Three from the right side, a quick three from Devonta White. See, that's what I mean. The defense on those ball screens is backing off a little bit and allowing those perimeter shooters for the Panthers to have daylight. They're going to have to make an adjustment there. Long is setting up to have one of those nights. A lot like the one that he had at home in a loss to this same Georgia State team. Now Peyton stops from 15. Nope. And a rebound foul called against the Raging Cajuns. That's about his range. Once in a while he'll shoot that long range, but that 15, 16 foot shot is about where he feels most comfortable. Interesting, they're using more a lot for yeah. screening purposes, and he's a 42% three-point shooter. I'm surprised they haven't moved him out on the floor. Devonta White, 85% from the free throw line in conference play, 62 of 73. 85%. They don't miss. No. From the free throw line, especially no, in conference miss. now, they don't miss. He's got eight points. This is such an impressive team in Georgia State in two things. Offensively, they shoot the ball well, whether it's three-pointers, two-pointers, free throws, and they do not turn it over. You're a, and those are the two things, if you talk to Coach Hunter, he says, that's what keeps us in ball game. Jump hook came up short by T.J. Shipes. Oh, good head and shoulder fake. Shot wouldn't fall. Davenport right there. Follow and the foul. He is a great complimentary player down inside the long because he's just a big body, strong, goes after the ball, has a great touch and a great feel how to score down in there. And he's so strong that he can take that blow as we see right here and still complete that play. Makes that free throw. Hunter is going to come back for Georgia State. This is everything we thought it was going to be. Oh, yeah. It's a heck of a contest, and I think I'll be surprised if there's, this doesn't go right down to the end of the game. Well, and the other thing, I mean, this very easily could be a preview of the conference tournament championship game. Without question, you got a little bit of a zone here. I think you've got some confusion on the back end and a foul called and let's see who that's on Sean Long will pick up the foul 
Cajuns weren't sure who was supposed to cover down inside. Now, they don't play a lot of zone, Tom, and I think there's some confusion there. And then all of a sudden, Atkins just flashed down in there and was able to get the ball or cut down in there, whatever term you want to use. Long. Was, oh, go ahead. Go ahead yeah, I was just going to say he was out here on this side. Long now with his second personal foul. He's got three three-pointers in the first half, which ties a career high for him. And it's funny how that second foul can change how your whole mindset in the first half. Second half, it doesn't matter. But in the first half, a second foul just changes so many things. Certain players have got to play more conservatively. And some players are even just say, go ahead and play. I don't, you know, it's the number of minutes you play, whether, whenever it is. Davenport pops out. Shot clock at 10. Peyton to the bucket. Oh, that's a pretty finish. The knock on him has been that he can't finish with that right side going right. That he's better going left. He's only got four points. That's pretty dry. One, two, two zone. Now white for three around and out and long right there. This is what they love to do. They love to take that ball and go. That's it. That's their game right there. Xavier Rimmer. And Ron Hunter is looking at his team like we talked about this and they Alabama. What a start for that ball club. I think Rubik's got it rolling. I tell you what, he has won some amazing basketball yeah. games. Yep. Great rivalry game there to Alabama schools. And he just beat Western Kentucky at Western Kentucky. And we got him next week. Yeah. Boy. Next Sunday. Uh, that's re remember that fans. It's a Sunday ball game. Rage and Cajuns will take on South Alabama. White from 17 and he is leading the charge right now. One of the things you want to do against the zone is penetrate and that's exactly what White did. He penetrated into that gap. Nobody picked him up and a, a thousand point shooter had a wide open 17 footer. Hunter went for the steal. Now Peyton had him. Gets it inside. Davenport goes up. No, but a foul called. That's one of the things a guy can do is draw some defense, go up and get a foul. This is going to be his third trip to the free throw line when we come back. Three third. Significant in Lafayette, and it looks like it's going to be significant again here tonight. So far in four minutes, Davenport three points, a rebound. Eight offensive rebounds in nine second chance points for University of Louisiana at Lafayette. Well, see, Big I, numbers. I said that in the keys. Yeah, you did. I said they had to control it, and right now, They're because it, if, if this goes the whole game, you, you take a picture, you know, that's going to have a significant impact on the outcome of this thing. And Davenport kind of had a coming out party when we were there, at least for the, for the media. The coaching staff has talked about him as being a key factor for a while. Now, without Peyton and without Long, the Ragin' Cajuns will see how long they are able to last here. They've got the lead right now. There was no pun intended. No, there was not. I, I kind of caught myself in the middle, and I knew where I was going. I was like, oh, well, i got to say it now. Inside jump hook, and this no-name Ragin' Cajun bunch, and that's the way you may look at them. Because Bomalu is out, Long is out, Peyton is out. This ball club is rolling. And if they can maintain this lead, they, they would be wise to use a little bit of time. Oh, that could be a charge. It is offensive foul called on Devonta White, his first. Really good defensive play. By Brown. I mean, he just slid his feet wide. Just that's it. That's how you coach it. Oh, yeah. That's textbook. Yeah, that could be in a train film. They like this little half court trap here. Somebody needs somebody needs to get in the middle of that thing. And yeah, they got they first got pass. Usually team. this is it. This is where they're coming after that first pass. And the trap works. 
Here comes Harrow on the run. Ball behind the back. No, but a foul call. What a great move. <laughs> what a great move. Oh, he cut he cut that thing off, but here's where it goes. He steals that ball. Now he's going to just whoop right there. Oh, what a great play. Rimmer had no chance no. At, uh, at all making a play right there. Coming up the half, we'll talk to Georgia State President Mark Becker. Take a look at first half stats and highlights all at the half. See, Nine this, points for him, yes, sir. This is where you lose or miss the leadership when you've got Peyton and Bamalu on the bench. And that's tough. It was a smart decision on Coach Hunter's part to press with this team on the floor. And here's his son, R.J. Hunter, at the top of this. And it's not when you come across. It's the first pass that they want to trap. That's where they want to get you. And then they'll back it off. They should need some time on that clock. And I would think Davenport's going to get a couple looks here. Trapped in the corner, and he stepped out of bounds. You don't want to put the ball down in the corner without a purpose, Tom, because what are you going to do with the ball down there if you don't have a purpose? Sixth turnover. Four Georgia State turnovers. Cajun stays in that 1 2 2 zone. White. Ronkowski looked like he was going to come up with it. Hunter. Oh, Hunter, did you see that look for yes, the I official? Did. You didn't call that foul? And then he misses the layup. And then Davenport throws it away. Seven turnovers now. And now Harrow. I like what's going on. The official just brought Harrell and, and Brown, Kevin Brown yeah, yep. and said, hey, fellas, play Enough basketball. Of that. Yep, don't. Play basketball. That's mature officiating. Minute and a half left. Georgia State lost a ball game at Troy. Oh, and they just give it away. Rimmer takes it length of the floor. It's blocked by Zeitz, and here they come the other way. Harrell kicks it out. Atkins drives, and Rakowski right there to take it back. They've gotten a little bit of a hurry. Let's see if they can get Davenport a shot here. I never thought I'd say that, but let's see if they can get Davenport a shot. Here's a good judgment in eating that clock. He'll take it for 15. How about that? That's his range. That's his range. 15 feet. Coach Hunter is living. You allow the ball to go up into the... Otherwise distributed or used in any form without the express written consent of the Sun Belt Conference, CST, and CSS. Raging Cajuns with seven bench points. Panthers without a bench point so far. But that's not unusual for them. Cajuns go back man to man. Harrell with the jumper, back of the rim, and Davenport right there with a the rebound. This has been a terrific end of the first half for the Raging Cajuns. Without Bamalu, without Long, without Peyton, they're not only holding the lead, they've extended the lead by two points. You know, what you'll end up seeing, Tom, probably is a ball screen over on the wing or top. Right there. it is. Long three that may have been partially blocked. Three seconds, two seconds, and that winner, that's an intentional foul. Shot it too quickly down on the other end. And, and didn't go for the ball on this end. And you just can't see the point nine. So Harrow at the line for a pair. He's got 11 now. He Marcus and White Kreider have been pretty back. productive. Oh, yeah. RJ oh, yeah. hasn't been, eh? RJ. But th th this happens with him. He's not a first-half guy. Remember talking to his coach today. He got 28 in the second half. Yeah. Down in Lafayette. That's a pretty good second half. Not, not a bad night's work. <laughs> Some guys get 28 in a career. Uh, what are you looking at me for? 
Yeah, that was an exaggeration, mm -hmm. wasn't it? Yeah, at 30. <laughs> Hunter will get it, and it's partially blocked. Really, really good defense by Kevin Brown. And I mean really good defense played by Brown. We played one half of basketball, 38-30 to 30 to Alfred Payton, who's on the under-19 team this year. Marcus Smart of Oklahoma State was on that team. He averages nine free throws a game. He hasn't been to the line yet, so it'll be interesting to see how he plays in the second half. He's second in the country with 250 free throw attempts this year. 250. And there he is with the basketball. Finds more inside. It's blocked by R.J. Hunter. 21 on the shot clock. Hunter came in from behind, and Moore tried to stretch out a little bit, and what a heck of an athletic play. Really an unbelievable play. Trying to clear out inside, and there's a holding foul. You know, the, the, the other thing, the Cajuns put that ball down in that baseline again, and the Panthers trapped it. Now, they reacted to it better, but that's a dangerous place to put the ball without a purpose. Unless you're his size. <laughs> Rimmer for three, got hit long after the shot was up. R.J. Hunter leading the break, gets it and lays it in. Now here comes Peyton at the other end. Crossover move, lost it, stole it back, gets it out. Bamalu for three. What a big steal by Alfred Peyton. Got it back and got the assist after a turnover. I'd like for you to Ooh. diagram that play for me, <laughs> would you please? Yes, it was an effort play. Because he had lost the ball and he stayed with it. Bamalu with 11 now. He's got those three trays. 41 32 is our score. Hunter off the glass for three. Came off the double screen, ball reversal, and they found it. And I think they got to find Sean Long at this end. They had a huge first half and a great game in Louisiana against these two, against this Georgia State team. Well, see Peyton coming off that ball screen. You don't really have to get out and guard him because he's not going to shoot the long range shot. He's not a three point shooter at all. Nice head and ball fake. And that one was a little too tall. Tapped out of bounds and Washington tapped it last. It'll belong to the Raging Cajuns. Again, the Panthers allow the Cajuns to have a second opportunity yeah. at the basket. Fresh shot clock. You hear the students right behind us hollering defense. Long wanted it and had it tapped away. Pretty good defense to tap that one out. Bamalu does a great job of using shot fakes to pull the defense off, but the defense rotated around on Long, and he didn't hold his position long enough. That's why they will knock it away. Peyton has not been able to get to the basket. I think you know, I can only remember the one time as that one was blocked. And then one more right there finds Bamalu and Hunter there to take it away. And Bamalu is furious. He banged the floor at the other end. Now a three ball. No. Washington right there with that jump. Look good. What a furious start to the second half for the Georgia State Panthers. Right now the defense is really creating problems for the Cajuns. They haven't been able to figure out how the, to exploit and the defense and get good open looks. And a foul called inside on Washington, but the entire Georgia State team is talking about an elbow that long... Very quiet demeanor about him anyway. I just looked at Bruce Benedict and I said, what's up? Here, he's going to come over and tell us now. Okay. No doubt. No doubt. Thank yep. you. Thanks, Bruce. 
these conference officials happen at the same time. What I, I tell you, these conference officials are so good to come over and tell us what's going on and make so it so clear to we us. We can communicate exactly. to the, yes. Exactly. I think they've handled this basketball game extremely well. Now the officials are still talking. So it's two free throws and the ball out of bounds. That's it. They like to go to long here, and he'll get it at that three-point strike. They need a bucket here, Coach. Ball tapped out of bounds. Pretty good defense by R.J. Hunter, and it will belong to the Panthers of Georgia State. Those are long arms of R.J.'s and his ability to explode into the passing lane. He baited that pass. Around the screen. Panthers don't hurry very often. They'll take good shots, but they're not in a hurry to do it. And that's a good shot. Oh, great offensive rebound. Atkins and a foul call. Oh. Right now, I think the Panthers are the more assertive, the more aggressive team, are getting more things done at both ends of the floor. Really good shot fake up and under by Atkins. That's four fouls on Long. And Long, talking to the official, is going to have to come out now. Davenport ready to come in. Remember, he had that flagrant foul. So this is his fourth personal foul. First one by Atkins, an 82% free throw shooter is good. Long goes out. Mark this down now. 16.42 left and a three-point game. Now, the question is, when do you put him back in? And a lot of that will be determined by the score. It's easier to play, though, with 4,000 in your head as opposed to when you're behind. But there's the young man, Mr. Payton, that's got to start making a contribution. And he they kept him under control tonight. Payton has not been able to get to the basket, which is what he wants to do. Now you'd think Bamalu is going to be a big part of what they do here. He may not get a lot of points as Payton puts up a 16-footer, and Hunter's right there. Not much ball movement. The defense has really done a great job of stifling the Cajuns offense. Georgia State three of four field goals second half. How about four of five as Strider slams that one down. We've got a tie ball game. And Bob Marlin wants a timeout. The first tie since it was 0-0. And we'll take it with them. 41 all. What a second. Get a shot at the first place. But with the those top four, Tom, I'm not sure there is nearly the advantage that you would think. You saw that 11 3 1. Raging Cajuns have been on a scoring drought in over the last three minutes. And they put Peyton into the high post. And he slides down. They're trying to put Peyton into positions where he can get the ball and penetrate. And now Peyton goes to the baseline. They're just doing different things, trying to get him that ball. You know, interestingly enough, Tom, Peyton shoots, averages nine free throws a game. He hasn't been to the line. R.J. averages six a game. He hasn't been to the line. Well, look at the defense. This is what you and I were talking about today. They do not want Peyton to get to the basket. And there is a steal. Arrow drives in and short, but it's tapped back up and in by Marcus Kreider. This is a heck of a start to the second half and their first lead of the game. Bamalu had that blocked by Hunter. It's loose, and Harrow comes out of that. It's a 15-3 run. Harrow's trying to add to that. White does not. All but the follow is good again. I would Ryder has been terrific. I wouldn't leave long on that bench very, uh, very long. The four down. Momentum's going the other way. You need him to play. If you let him sit too long, you could get out of hand, and it's of no consequence. Raging Cajuns have not scored in the last four and a half minutes. No, they can't penetrate. Shooters haven't been there. 
Peyton seems to be tentative and unsure. Well, we talked about now Peyton puts up a three, and it's just not his shot. He's a 22% three-point shooter. Now R.J. Hunter for three. The Panthers are on a roll. And a really smart play by Bamalu. The Panthers were celebrating back on defense. Bamalu went right to the bucket, and he'll go to the free throw line. Both teams do a great job of getting the ball down quickly. We saw that when R.J. was open for the three-point shot. And then instead of uh, pouting, the Cajuns got the ball back quickly. The official, see the official right there talking to Hunter? He's talking to him about that celebration and being a little bit too ostentatious about a made shot. Right. You, I mean, that's just one shot. That in the national championship. Get and down the floor. Bob Marlin saw it and uh, alerted the official, and the official went over and said something. But I'll go back to the play by Bomalu. He didn't make the free throw, but I'll go back to that play by Bomalu. Panthers were celebrating. Bomalu attacked. I think you got to get Long back on the floor. With four fouls. Yes, with four fouls. They need that inside presence. Wow. Wow. They're pressing right now a little bit. They're out of rhythm. A lot of time. Ryder and Hunter have combined for 14 here in the second half. You know, this for Georgia is, State. This is the third game this week for the Panthers. And a foul on. They got Davenport out on the floor. And he's going to have a tough time guarding anybody out there that's on the floor right now for Georgia State. He'll have a tough time staying in front of them without fouling. And Atkins is a 45% or 46% three-point shooter. So you're right. He can't do that. Hunter for three again. Oh, my. <laughs> wow. A 19-3 to three run. Peyton's got to give direction. They've got to find open shooters. It's been almost six minutes since the Raging Cajun scored. They have got to get to the basket. Pass deflected and Kreider right there. Ahead Harrell to Atkins for the dunk. 53-53. Bamalu, great fake inside, had it blocked, but a foul called. And Bamalu will go back to the line. You know, there were 14 block shots in the last game, the, the time that, before that they played, but that transition game is really having an effect. Neither team, I think, is playing very well defensively against the other team's fast break. Yeah. But how about 14 block shots in the last game? Is that something? Yeah. That just unbelievable. A 23-3 run. Bamalu's now missed three in a row at the free throw line. He's only a 62% free throw shooter. And again, that's an Achilles heel for the Cape. Oh, yeah. Kevin Brown will come back as Bamalu will get a break. First point since the 1920 mark. Nope, it's not Bamalu, it's Moore who will come out. You can't take Bamalu out now, can you? No, you need Bamalu on the floor. You need his leadership. But they got to find somebody to shoot the basketball. They're having real problems finding somebody to get the ball in the basket right now. Harrow comes around that screen roll, runs into Davenport, and Davenport will pick up the foul. Smart move. Harrow just lowered that shoulder, ran right into Davenport, and knew he was going to hear the whistle, and it was a foul on Davenport. The defense got hung up on the screen on the ball, and it's one-on-one -on -one with Davenport. And that's his third personal. And, and da you're right. Davenport can't guard him. No, there's no way. Wow. 
White comes around that screen, goes right down the lane, and that's number four on J.J. Davenport. So Davenport with four, and Sean Long with four, and Long's coming back. Ball screens have really been affected, but I'm going to tell you, the Panthers set the whole tempo with their defense. But again, the ball screen has really been affected, and then the ability to drive the ball to the basket. That's a, you know, you got, again, we go back to four, four players with a 1,000 yeah. points. Yeah. I mean, White just saying, okay, hey, RJ, you're not real good tonight. Okay, watch I got this. it. I got I it. No yeah. problem. Since they were down 36-26 with three and a half minutes left in the first half, Georgia State has outscored the Raging Cajuns 27-6. to and Sean Long is back. And it's uh, and he needed to do that. And it's all been predicated on their defense. Their defense has just shut the Cajuns down. Splits the free throws and now hold it. Technical foul on Harrell. Harrell has picked up a technical foul. You could see Bruce Benedict, the official, looking back, waiting until the free throw was shot. And now it's a tee on Harrell. I don't know what he would have been upset about. Uh, yeah, I, I don't I'm not saying that he wasn't right. I have no idea. I just didn't see anything yeah. obvious. And Long will shoot the free throws. Or I don't know. Maybe he said something to somebody. Taunting. I, I, I just don't. You're right. I don't know either. But I know one thing. Coach Hunter isn't very happy. No. Long makes the first. And if there's a guy that can bring them back, that can put this team on his shoulders, he's shooting free throws right now. See, that's why they need him on the floor. He, he's got to play. If he fouls out, he fouls out. But if he doesn't come back on the floor, they're in deep trouble. Now they got to find ways to get the ball down inside to him. And Peyton has thrown the ball away. I think Peyton's a little bit off his rhythm, a little bit frustrated. Well, let's see what they can do here. Panthers stay in that 3-2. Bamalu is up high. Peyton basically playing a forward here. And there he is. That's where you want him, and that's what you want. And they got it, and there's a foul. All right, Coach, let's diagram this. Peyton goes to the free throw line. He's a passer. He can also penetrate. But his job is to look inside for Sean Long, right? Take the ball to the basket. Or the he emptied out of the opposite baseline. Yep. By emptied out, he came from there. You need somebody to slide down into that area because you could turn and throw right there to a shooter. So you have three options. Down into long, your own thing, jump shot, drive, or pitch to that corner where you just make it. He's made three free throws in a row. Now 18 points and seven rebounds for Sean Long. And it's not like I'm here, you know, pushing him as player of the year. But I'm just saying, if anybody on this team can do it, that's the guy. Well, I don't disagree with you. Peyton's got to, in transition, do things. But he doesn't have the long-range shot. Yeah, and, and they haven't had transition opportunities, or at least very many. Now they get a little aggressive defensively. A three right side answers that by Manny Atkins. Best shooter on the team. That's what Coach Hunter said. Better shooter than RJ. Peyton kicks it out. Now Bamalu trying to answer. Does with a three. They trend, they, they're they going to chop down on Peyton when he gets that ball near the free throw line. And it leaves Bamalu open right there. He's got 14. And he's closing in on a thousand points himself. Very good move by Coach Marlin to put him into that high post. Peyton. Harrow traveled. They carried it. I'm sorry, he carried it. And all of a sudden, they bring in Sean Long, and just what you were talking about, they're coming right back. But it has been. Well, and it's a numbers game with for them right now. Because if they get two wins, they've assured themselves of, of at, least at least a tie. Yep. tie. Peyton had to go back and get it. And then Hunter comes up with it ahead. Kreider, one dribble, layup, good. Georgia State's now 11 of 15 in the second half. Kreider with eight. The Ragin' Cajuns just two of 10. And that three is a big one for Kevin Brown. 
Rebounds in the second half. Georgia State 10. Raging Cajuns just three. And that's their Achilles heel. They dominated the, every conceivable phase. But again, I think they started it with their defense. So easy for Devonta White. You're going to take away everything else? I'm a 1,000-point scorer. I have no problem shooting it from 17. He's got 12 points. The defense didn't let him come over the top. So he just drove right into the middle of it and shot the ball. Took that little extra half step. Their 12th turnover. 12. Ouch. And in the first half, it was a Panthers turnover. Yeah. Ball over. White good dish. Hunter for three. And the crowd is stunned that he missed the three. He doesn't miss many second-half threes. I'd love to see his first-half, second-half numbers. Back of the rim, long rebound. Pulled down by Georgia State. It's Ryan Green, College Park, Georgia. 6-1 junior, and the ball tapped out. Arrow back as White will sit. I think White has had a heck of a ball game. I yeah. think he's just done a marvelous job, especially in the first half when R.J. didn't do anything. He and Harrell kept him going. Three in the first half, so far 11 in the second half. Are you trying to say he's a second-half player? We've been saying that. Not that he can't be in the first half. Almost stolen as Harrell lost it there. They're just going back further and further toward half court. Shot clock at 13. Harrell looking at that crossover, and Brown will pick up the foul. We were talking to Coach Hunter before practice today, and he was talking about the loss to Troy. Yeah, Troy. And with seven minutes to go, he said as his ball club kind of got together and said, okay, this is it. It's our time. It's time to really step it up. And he said he went ballistic. What do you mean it's time now to step it up? What that's about a, when the game starts? That's a very good point. And I think he felt they learned a lesson from that. And you always want your team to win. But at times, it's probably best that they lose. Ryan Green snuck around that screen and drops it home. And Peyton didn't help. I think Peyton's really struggling. Rimmer drives down and got bumped. Harrell will pick up that personal foul. That's his third. The zone has created significant problems, and the Cajuns haven't had an answer for a lack of penetration, a lack of inside shooting, and finding guys out on the floor. And th their whole goal with this zone is, again, Coach was talking to us about, was to prevent Peyton from being able to drive. That's all that, that that's all they cared about. And they've done it. Oh, yeah, they've done a great job of it. In the first half, they shot the ball well, the Cajuns. And you asked me at that time, would you change it? And I said, no. It was only first half. And now we're seeing the effects of just staying yeah. with it, staying with your game plan. And all of a sudden, the Cajuns don't. And the Panthers do what they do well. They exploit you. That ball screen. So many guys can take the ball and create offense. And it's hard to take away everything. And this is something you and I have talked about off the air, but not on the air. Washington with it inside. It's so hard to take away everything on defense. Harrell for three. Rattles out and Long tapped it out. And one of the few opportunities Peyton's had in the open floor. Got the foul, and he'll go to the line for a one-and-one, one, not a two-shot foul. They've done a great job of getting back on defense. 12 points for Peyton so far. And Long's going to get a break here. He really did a nice job. He stemmed that run. He brought him back and kept them in the game. 
and got three points as quick as uh, as soon as he got on the floor. Interesting though, Tom, he hasn't come out on the floor in the second half to shoot the long range shot. Lane violation. Georgia State 19 points in the last 16 minutes. Leading scoring team in the league. But they're playing against a second leading scoring team in the league. Yeah. And and neither one of them have had a stellar performance from the floor. But he has a defense play. That kid with a runner. Tried for the follow. And here come the Raging Cajuns on the run again. Bamalu for three. In front of the rim. And Hunter right there for the rebound. That's a small team out there for the Cajuns. Yep, it is. You could switch all screens. Peyton trying to get the steal, couldn't do it. Now Hunter drives over. Kreider with the layup. He is He's so got good. ten. He is so good on that penetration, finding the open man and dropping the ball. Now Rimmer puts up a three and drains that. 41 percent three uh, three point shooter. Yeah. I'm surprised yeah. the Panthers left him that open. He's got eight now, and it's back under double digits. And Brown will get the foul for the reach. And they'll go into the bonus now. It'll be the one and one from here on out. 7:22 left. 65 50. 35 Georgia State points in the second half. 35 in the second half. You do that. Score a lot. Oh, and, and they have so many weapons if it all sudden gets together. But again, I think they set the tempo from the get-go with their defense. All of a sudden, the Cajuns couldn't find the open threes. Uh, Peyton's just been had difficulty the whole night in every phase of his game. Uh, Long has continued to be a factor, but he's been pretty much it. Bamalu has helped a little bit. But they haven't had an answer. Now they bring Ronkowski in in hopes of a 31% shooter who hopefully will give them some additional three-point shooting. That's got to be their rationale. Raging Cajun started six of nine from the floor. Since then, they're nine of 33, and they got another turnover. The defense, I'm telling you, it's the defense. They've just done a marvelous job. The Panthers. Yeah, they have. Forced 14 turnovers. White, all oh, quick stop, couldn't get it. Ronkowski saves that rebound. And here comes Peyton on the run. Long posted up and a foul. Away from the ball, Manny Atkins picks up a foul. Atkins was a red shirt in 2011-2012. Started at Virginia Tech. Isn't that amazing? Coach Hunter said he's a better shooter than R.J. Yeah. And R.J. Hunter can fill it up. 41% from three-point range. 88% from the free throw line. <laughs> That's not too bad. <laughs> My goodness. Peyton read that well and just couldn't come up with a rebound. He was looking for it. Ten-point ball game coming up on six minutes left. They're just content to run a little clock here. Arrow sees the opening, goes to the bucket, couldn't get it. Offensive rebound in the lane. Yes, and the foul. Now let's see who this goes on. It's on Bamalu. And we just talked about him being a man that's going after the ball on the glass. And as you see, Long started to come over, 
And Kreider just found an angle and tracked the ball down. No. He keeps that up, Tom. He gives them a dimension. Oh, yeah. Missing. That and, bench scoring oh, leadership, boy. he's tough. Down inside, going after the ball. Six of seven from the field as Ronkowski comes up with another rebound. And Peyton, they stop again. It's just outstanding defense on Alfred Peyton, who just cannot get to the bucket. Ronkowski for three. And the rebound tap. Good second effort. Baseline Rimmer for three. He got hit and fell down. And now the ball tapped out of bounds will belong to the Raging Cajuns and Sean Long complaining to the official that he got hit. I think the Cajuns are a little bit frustrated. A little. You know. Long wants it. You can see he wanted that. He, it, it, this is Sean Long that we saw in the first half. Look at that look. He is not a happy young man. And I'll say it again. He can put them on his back and bring them back into this. If they continue to look to go down into him and create and collapse that defense, then they're going to have some opportunities. Kreider picks up his fourth personal foul. Nine point ball game, and I got a feeling you're going to see a steady dose of Sean Long here. Ball screens have been a problem. A lot of switching going on out there, which I think they need to do. Kick out pass and shot clock at six at five. Harold for three. Short and Rimmer with the rebound. And here come the Cajuns on the run. Peyton comes up with it in the lane and lays it in. And here they come. Timeout. Bob Marlin wanted a 30 second timeout there. Coach, it's a seven point ball game. It was in four angles. That's why Coach Marlin put him in a high post in hopes that he can knock down the, the 15-footer or drive the bas ball to the basket or make the feeds. Kreider comes up to get it, gives it back to Devonta White from Alpharetta, Georgia. Oh, Peyton almost got the turnover right there. Gotta be careful, he's gonna pick up the foul. He did. And they'll go to the line for a one and one. See, I don't think you need to put that pressure that far out, Tom, because he's too quick and can wheel and go by and create problems. And you certainly don't want Peyton off the floor. Ronkowski comes back. Moore will leave. Offense, defense is what's going on with that substitution. You've got to give yourself a little bit of cushion so those uh, Panthers can't drive by you. White rattles the first one home. We told you earlier, he's an 85% free throw shooter in conference play. Yeah, that's the other thing. You don't want to put him at the line because they are spectacular at the line. They lost that ball game at Troy. Came home and beat Texas State 68 41. Texas State had 14 at half. 14 first half points. I think coach got their attention. Bamalu's pass deflected. Long trying to come up with it and did. Now gives it back to Peyton. Peyton wants to penetrate. Now takes a three that was not close. But Rimmer right there goes up under. No. Rebound loose and White right there to pick it off. Gets it ahead, but Peyton steals. Here he comes in. Had it slapped away. Bamalu no shot. Foul called on Devonta White. White picks up his third personal foul. Been a lot of bumping oh, yeah. throughout this contest. And I think that the Panthers have adjusted to it better than what the Cajuns have. I think it's bothered the Cajuns more. Bomalu with 15. Davenport up off the bench. He's coming back in. Offense, Long will get a break. Offense, defense here, there. 
with that with that substitution. Well, and he'll get a longer break because we're about to have the under four minute timeout. Seven point ball game. I think the Cajuns have settled down here some. Hunter comes back to get it. Bob Marlin wanted a travel call. Oh, he looked. He cheated. I don't know if we'll see it on the replay. That was a heck of a look. And Peyton bought it hook, line, and sinker. 3.39 left. Harrow goes to the line here. First gotta, of two. Got to get the ball inside if you're the Cajuns. You got to penetrate. Look for wide open three point shooters. Panthers got to continue to go after the ball on the glass. I think that's been really, really big for them. And continue to drive the ball to the basket. Raging Cajuns had nine assists on 14 baskets in the first half, just three assists here in the second half. Somebody needs to come up into that high post. Long wants it, didn't get it. Bamalu has a dog grade Hunter with the block, but Bamalu right there stole it right back away and puts it in. RJ does a great job of rotating over. He does. He's good help defense, yes, isn't he? Yes, he is. Bamalu with 19 now as he gets closer to 1,000 career points. Three minutes left. Yeah, they're playing clock with you right now. I'm going to say, okay. We're going to make it so you've got to do well on every play. Harrow knew that Long had four personal fouls. Went right at it. He's got 15 now. Drive in and a foul called. Been a lot of, a lot of barking tonight. These two teams are a little chippy. Georgia State kind of felt like there were some things said from the crowd, from the st stands in the ball game at Louisiana. And they were talking about it today at practice with us and said, oh, yeah, we've talked about it. Grimmer with nine points now. He said this could be a little chippy tonight. And then you've got Georgia State being a new team and, uh, you know, new kid oh, yeah. on the block. Oh, yeah. And then you've got the other. Uh, if these two teams meet again, assuming the game ends like it is, where now the Panthers are going to have to beat them three times in a row. That's tough to do. That's tough. That's tough to do in the same season. Did you ever do that? Did you yeah. ever beat somebody? Yeah. Did you, ever, did you ever upset a team trying to beat you for the third time? Probably. I don't remember that. Oh, yeah. A selective memory <laughs> is what you're trying to tell me. I got you. Okay. <laughs> See, they're letting that clock run down. Oh, yeah. You need to be close enough to get that count on. That five-second count. And Harrow knows he's not. No. See, I think that's how they should have played it earlier in the game instead of coming out. But now you're kind of caught. Oh, you got to get the ball down inside. Huh? Harrow wants to go by long. The giant killer is good for Ryan Harrow. He's got 17 right at his season average. And the Raging Cajuns need a little magic now. Bronkowski's three is good, and Bob Marlin wants a timeout. Now you got to take Long off the floor, put another defensive player out there because the last time here, Kreider would be their biggest player on the floor. And Kreider's a 6'6 sophomore. There you see Raging Cajuns with one timeout, four for the Panthers. You got to rotate up and get that. Pass. Now you get a foul, don't you? And you're down team. six, not yet. Yeah, keep that counter. So they can put you in a bind here. They don't turn it over, and they haven't turned it over in the second half. And a 30. Coach Hunter wants a 30 second timeout. 
And Coach Hunter, as you see him, he's not happy with the way they were attacking that. Oh, yeah. You got that little guy going at you? It's tough. Looking to get it inbounds, and they just do. I thought Brown was going to come up with it. Kick it out. There's the steal. Ahead for Peyton. Peyton, spin move, hangs off the glass, and good. We got a four-point ball game, just under a minute left. Down the floor, R.J. Hunter missed it, and Peyton right there. Chance to make it a two-point game. Peyton got to the bucket off the glass, got it, counted in the foul. Now what's going to be interesting is you keep the press going and you're going to get the ball back oh, yeah. regardless of what happens unless the Panthers get the rebound. 12 points for him now. They didn't want to throw it. To no, Washington. they didn't. They did not want to get one. And there's a steal. Peyton with it. Drives in lefty. No. Got his own rebound and a foul call. With 30 seconds to go and a one-point ball game. And we've got Devonta White, who is down on the floor. Looks like he may have gotten poked in the eye. You know, I'm, I don't know whether he... By the Raging Cajuns. 18 of 27 from the free throw line tonight. Peyton at the line for the tie. <laughs> Hits three times and bounces home. This for the lead with 30 seconds left. Long has been the key to this whole thing. Oh, yeah. He came in and he turned this game around. Missed it. Rebound tapped out. Harrow's got it. We're tied. What does this remind you of? Does this remind you of that Texas Arlington oh, game? So question. many that we've had on the Sun Belt Network. Don't forget, no LeBound, March 12th through the 16th, the conference tournament for the Sun Belt Conference. You're going to see a lot of games just like this. Here we go. Here's the ball screen. Harrow looks. Oh. Atkins. Wow. Wow. Sanza threw something onto the floor, and the final timeout. You have to have a three to tie. Washington comes up on the ball. A tense, you can catch and shoot. A circle around. Peyton couldn't get it. That'll do it. Fifty second half points for the Georgia State Panthers, and they survive.